that was the front fork, uh, or the front fender actually. Um, it takes a little while to actually put it on. You have to take the wheel off and the calipers and, and then realign everything and and do it up according to the, uh, I can't remember what it's called, Newton meters, pounds per something something, pounds, feet per pound or something. What's it called? can't remember. Um, and in the end, I realized that my <sighs> that my fender extender actually touches the wheel. And this is the pyramid fender extender. But it fits like shit. I mean, it, it doesn't complete the curve of the front fender. It actually creates <laughs> a slight... Um, this, is, this is the curve. And here's the fender extender. So it sits a bit closer to the wheel down here at the end. I can fix it, I think, but right now I can't be bothered. I still have a lot to do. Uh, so next up, tank off, replace it with the painted tank. Here we go. So that's the gas tank. Um, I'm still missing a few protective pieces of uh, translucent uh, vinyl film uh, here, here to protect against the seat. Um, that's not going to be today because this is taking far much longer than I anticipated. Uh, I still need to drill holes in the bars. Yeah, a lot of stuff that I'm missing. Today, all that's left for me is really to put put the plastic on the rear end, and I think I'll then call it a day. Uh, I didn't <laughs> I didn't get as much done as I want as I, I had hoped for, um, but it's something. A few other things I can I can do inside, and the next few days is going to be really rainy, so we'll see. Okay. Just a quick tip, um, these plastic fairings for the rear end have these holes <laughs> where, you know, where, where, where plastic grommets like these ones are going to sit. Uh, this one's actually going to sit here. It can be a little bit hard because uh, to get them into those uh, holes because these ones turn, well, they become stiff. but dump it in some hot water, not extremely hot water, just hot tap water, and uh, leave them there for five minutes or something, or something and they become soft and, and uh, very easy to get into, or at least easier to get into those holes. Just um, a quick tip um, to avoid you breaking your ferry. Right? Always test the rear seat cowl lock or the rear seat lock before you snap on the rear seat or a, or a seat cowl. So let's do it now. It works. <laughs> 